Given that y is equal to x multiplied by 2x plus 1 to the power of 4, show that dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 1 to the power of n multiplied by ax plus b, where n, a and b are constants to be found. So first of all, we can see that in the question we have a function, uh, y equals x, multiplied by another function, y equals 2x plus 1 to the power of 4. Uh, and if we're differentiating two functions multiplied by each other, we know we need to use the product rule. Uh, and the product rule states that if y is equal to u multiplied by v, then dy by dx is equal to u multiplied by dv by dx plus v multiplied by du by dx. Uh, and we can see where u and v are in the question. Uh, if we say that this is u, then x is also u, and v is therefore 2x plus 1 to the power of 4. Uh, and if we write this out, that u is equal to x and v is equal to 2x plus 1 to the power of 4, the only thing left we need to fill in this formula is dv by dx and du by dx. So to get du by dx, um, if we differentiate x, we end up with 1. Uh, and to get dv by dx, if we differentiate it, we now need to use the chain rule. Uh, and the chain rule states that we need to bring forward this power in front of the bracket. So we bring forward the 4 and multiply it by the 2x plus 1. Uh, and then we take away 1 from the power, just like you would in normal differentiation, if you like. Um, so it's to the power of 3. And then we multiply it by the differential of what's inside the bracket. So the differential of 2x plus 1, uh, which is 2. Uh, and so we can write this a bit more simply as 8 multiplied by 2x plus 1 to the power of 3. Um, so now we have everything we need to essentially substitute u, v and the differentials of those two into this formula. So u multiplied by dv by dx is x multiplied by 8 multiplied by 2x plus 1 to the power of 3. And then v multiplied by du by dx is 2x plus 1 to the power of 4 multiplied by 1. Uh, and then if we simplify this a bit more, we get 8x multiplied by 2x plus 1 to the power of 3 plus 2x plus 1 to the power of 4. Uh, and we can see that in both of these terms, uh, there's a common factor of 2x plus 1 to the power of 3. Uh, and so we can take this out and put it outside some brackets. So 2x plus 1 to the power of 3, open bracket, 8x plus 2x plus 1, which the inside of the second pair of brackets can then simplify to 10x plus 1. And you can see now this form is very similar, if not identical, to the one in the question. We have 2x plus 1 to the power of n, uh, and here n is equal to 3. And then ax plus b, where a is equal to 10, and b is equal to 1. Uh, now, in this question on the mark scheme, uh, the places that we get all our marks is um, mark number 1 is a method mark, and it comes from applying the product and the chain rule um, on this expression. So we can say mark 1, just to kind of group them all together, comes from here. Uh, now the second mark comes from substituting this into the formula um, and therefore ending up with this. So that's our second mark and this is an answer mark. Um, we get our third method mark from taking out this common factor of 2x plus 1 to the power of 3. And finally, our last mark comes from getting the answer, so getting what n, a and b all are.